We are starting the practical driving exam in Hofheim am Taunus at the TÜV Service Center. And we will finish the exam in Bad Soden am Taunus at the SO gas station. We were leaving the private property of the TÜV uh, in Hofheim to the right side. For all of you who are watching regularly the exam videos, you will recognize the route already. The big building on the in front is the financial authorities for the Maintanuskreis area. And we want to go straight. You see the triangle sign, giveaway sign with the priority street coming from the left. She's placing the car to the right side and overdriving the waiting line because nobody is coming. Oh, the camera is shaking a little bit. So, rechts abbiegen. Please turn right. We follow the priority street. It's a normal turning procedure. The speed limit in the city is 50 kilometers per hour. Pedestrian crossing is free, nobody there. Passing a parked trailer, mirror indicator, blind spot and passing. An der Ampel bitte rechts abbiegen. So the left turner was placing the car very close to the white line and the sense about this rule is that if there is enough space other cars can overtake on the right side and that's what we did. We were overtaking the car on the right side. Here we have the priority, they have a stop sign, they stopped and we can go on. We are still in the city of Bad Soden. Uh, no, not Bad Soden. We are still in the city of Hofheim, of course. And we are waiting for the end of city sign. I already can see it. I search for yellow signs. It's on the left. But they don't want us to drive 100. That's why they put a 60 sign on the side. And here it's going up to 80. So we are speeding up. It's a dry road. It's a nice day in spring. Okay, the sun is not there, but behind the clouds, there is the sun. It's the sun. <laughs> And here it's going up to 100. The reason why we always uh, drive from Hofheim to Bad Soden and from Bad Soden to Hofheim is that the closest TÜV station from our school is Hofheim. But the official place of exam is called Bad Soden and others. 
that means that the examiner needs to drive with the student into the exam place and this could be Bad Soden and others are the small villages around Bad Soden like Kelkheim which is on the left side of this road you can see right now or Liederbach which is on the right side of this road right now yeah and that's the reason why we always drive from Hofheim to Bad Soden and from Bad Soden to Hofheim which is not so bad and that's the reason oh we turn right by the way <clears throat> that's the reason why it's not possible if you live in Hamburg to take the driving exam in Bad Soden because it's only possible near your home or near your working place <clears throat> that means if you live in Hamburg Hamburg and if you work in Bad Soden area then it's no problem turn right please So for the left turner was the stop signs and for the right turner the giveaway signs. That's why we did not need to do a full stop here. Uh, I probably produce another video about authorities and place of exam and because I have some requests if people can take the exam in my school from anywhere in Germany and that's not possible I answer the email and I um, I always need to mention that by law it's only allowed to take the exam near the home or near the working place and if you live in Berlin and you work in Berlin or work in Hamburg it's not possible to take the exam in Frankfurt or in Munich If you can convince the authorities that it's important to take the exam somewhere else, then you're probably probably lucky and they allow it. So all the way straight, nothing happens in this exam. Nothing happens. It's since we started we had probably one two three four turns we have had four turns and they were all right turns wow four right turns An der Ampel bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left at the lights. Finally, a left turn. This is turn number five. To Bad Soden am Taunus. Here we have an arrow in the traffic light that means no oncoming traffic has green light at the same time and no pedestrians on the left side. So there are two pedestrians waiting for crossing <clears throat> and generally we need to calculate that, the, that we wait and let them turn but we have the arrow in the traffic light so it's absolutely relaxing because we already know they don't have green light at the same time 
Look, that's why they have green light now. Green. So here are two lanes. We need the straight lane and we are in the left of two lanes going straight. Welcome to Bad Sodenam Taunus. So we go into the roundabout, the freshly built up roundabout. Useless, but we have it. We go into the roundabout and take exit. Number three. So checking what's coming from the left side. There's a black car indicating. Okay, then we can enter. That's exit number one. Number two. And mirror indicator blind spot for the Bicycles. Thirty, but not a thirty zone. It's just thirty for the for the street in front of us. So if we turn left or right, thirty is over because we are leaving this thirty street. And then they need a new thirty sign. Nach rechts abbiegen, bitte. Please turn right. Now we are leaving the 30 area. Yeah, she's driving slowly. But here, not visible on the right side, is the beginning of 30 zone. That's why we have here 30 speed limit again. You can see the street name sign on the right side and she is moving to the right side, slowing down, check, 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 nobody there and going on. Yeah, we train this very often in our lessons and this generally works very well. And another right before left, but we are already on the right side, so we are checking it out. Nobody there. So, bitte suchen Sie sich eine geeignete Stelle zum Wenden. Please find a place to turn the car around. Oh, I see lots of places where to turn. Important is to indicate and to check what's up behind us before we stop. No sudden stop, please. She was waiting for the car, but the car was turning left instead of turning right. And then the left side is clear because we go reverse right. And the front is moving to the left side. And then we should wait until the left side is clearly free. 
and we always try to tell our students the easiest possible turnaround if there is not a roundabout is to stop the car at the right side go reverse right into a big spot and turning left that's level three of turnaround well done going on obstacle on our side Links up being bitter. No oncoming traffic. <laughs> have a break, have a Kit Kat, and going down. Und nach rechts abbiegen. Then it's important to follow the right curbstone and she does it very well. Und die nächste links. So here it's important to stay on the right side, that the left side is free, so we have to pretend going straight, aiming the black car, and then checking the right side, turning left, oncoming traffic, and waiting behind the silver car. Well done! And then you see the last car approaching is the dark car. Then you already check mirror, blinker, blind spot, and you can roll out immediately after the last car has passed. If you start preparing after the last car has passed you, then you lose time. So the car is coming straight, we need to wait here. Oop, that's probably a little bit close to go on. We will see. So the next car is driving to the side and he's flashing the lights up but that's too close and fortunately the student did not start driving out. And her plan was to go reverse right, that's why she waited until the left side was free. You see the indicator reflecting in the red car, showing to the right side to tell everyone that we are not going out. The dog gets enough hugs. <laughs> ah, dog life. And going on. So right before left over here, slowing down, going a little bit to the right side. Check, 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 check. No one from right side, but oncoming traffic. But we need to overdrive the intersection and wait behind the silver car. But no need to wait. We can go on. Oh, suddenly car was coming out of the right street and she recognized. Perfect. Okay. So now one more minute to go and we need to see the highway, we need to do reverse parking, emergency brake. On the right side you see the blue sign, walking speed area, we have the priority. So we need to hurry up a little bit because we have to do lots of content for until we finish the exam. Please enter the roundabout and take exit number one. And the examiner said exit number one. Ooh, ooh. That's entrance number one. That's where the cars entered the roundabout and we just entered probably five minutes ago we entered on this side of the road the roundabout 
That was the wrong side, my friends. That was the entrance. We needed to take directly the right street. So we're going to the Rewe parking lot and we needed to finish the exam there. And this was a failed driving exam.